Welcome to today's Advent Reflection from Shelby Presbyterian Church. Our poem for today is Annunciation by Denise Levertov. We know the scene, the room variously furnished, almost always a lectern, a book, always the tall lily. Arrived on solemn grandeur of great wings, the angelic ambassador standing or hovering, whom she acknowledges a guest. But we are told of meek obedience. No one mentions courage. The engendering spirit did not enter her without consent. God waited. She was free to accept or refuse choice, integral to humanness. There aren't enunciations of one sort or another in most lives. Some unwillingly undertake great destinies, enact them in sullen pride, uncomprehending. More often those moments when roads of light and storm open from darkness in a man or a woman are turned away from in dread, in a wave of weakness in despair. And with relief, ordinary lives continue. God does not smite them, but the gate closes, the pathway vanishes. She had been a child who played, ate, slept, like any other child, but unlike, unlike others, wept only for pity, laughed, in joy, not triumph. Compassion and intelligence fused in her, indivisible, called to a destiny more momentous than any in all of time. She did not quail, only ask a simple, how can this be? And gravely, courteously, took to heart the angel's reply, perceiving instantly the astounding ministry she was offered to bear in her womb infinite weight and lightness to carry in hidden finite inwardness nine months of eternity to contain in slender vase of being the sum of power in narrow flesh the sum of light then bring to birth, push out into air, a man-child, needing, like any other human, milk and love, but who was God? This was the moment no one speaks of, when she could still refuse, a breath unbreathed, spirit, suspended, waiting. She did not cry, I cannot, I am not worthy nor I have not the strength. She did not submit with gritted teeth, raging, coerced. Bravest of all humans, consent illumined her. The room filled with its light, the lily glowed in it, and the iridescent wings 
consent. Courage unparalleled opened her utterly. Our reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a virgin in a city in Galilee named Nazareth. She was betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the name of the virgin was Mary. And having come to her, the angel said, Grace to you, favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Then at this statement she was stirred up and debating what kind of greeting this was. And the angel said to her, Do not fear, Mary. You have found grace with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son. You shall call him by the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord will give him the throne of David, his father and he will reign over the house of Jacob into the ages, and his reign shall never end. Then Mary said to the angel, How is this to be, since I have known no man? And answering, the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And therefore, the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. And behold, your cousin Elizabeth, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who is called barren. For with God, there is nothing that will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. May it become for me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Let us pray. Lord God, in this season we look for you in new ways through poetry, art, scripture, and prayer. We ponder your faithfulness and your love, for all scripture bears the good news that the creator of all things knows us and longs for us to know you as Emmanuel, God with us. In the chaos of life, when order seems out of reach, you are with us as you were in creation, making all things from your love alone, bringing order and restoring order with grace far greater than our sin. Do not be afraid, the angel said to Mary, and so she had courage. You call us to be your servant, empowered by your love. Help us to trust that nothing is impossible with you, O Lord. And you are with us in all that you call on us to do. Guide us in this season that we might know your peace, the wholeness that comes from reconciliation with you and with all humanity. We ask this from you in your infinite love, God our source, in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, your eternal Son, and in the common life we share in your Holy Spirit, one triune God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you.